Everybody, welcome back to Terra Firmacraft Season 6, Episode 27 with me, Sid. And let me start off by wishing everybody a happy Christmas Eve. I can't wish you a happy Christmas Day because, of course, it is not Christmas Day. It is Christmas Eve at the point of this video going live. If you're watching it on any other day, then it could be Christmas Day or Boxing Day or any other day of the year. It could be a happy Friday. Who knows? But... I'm just over here, I've just come over to grab a little bit more of this pillow, and I've just tunneled down, gone down, and kind of popped back. Kind of, you know, in and out, a little, um, just to grab a little bit of that. Now I need to find, where is my, where is my tower, tower home, there we go. This does need to move, um, ultimately, but I needed that because, um... We still have some unfinished business up here. I don't know how much of it I need. I might need more than this. Who knows? But, in fact, I do need more than this because we're going to go there and there and there and there and there. So I need at least two more. Call it three, four, five more. Which means I need to have a little bit of a dip further down. But this has been glaring at me all this time. And of course, last episode, we made a huge amount of anvil progress. Um, and we have got... Let me have a little drink. Ooh, yep, uh, we have got our bronze anvil, bismuth bronze. And a lovely green suit of armour. I'm not wearing that for day-to-day -day work because it's heavy. <laughs> and it slows us down and uh, that is when we want to go dungeoning dungeon dungeoning dungeoning well it's as good a word as any that's when we want to go dungeoning and and other stuff so we should have if I kind of come down here correctly and I also need to grab myself a little bit more of a filler I don't like leaving holes in these things um, they're just asking for me to fall down and kill myself so we needed, did I say five? Yeah, maybe five. Let's do a little bit more. Be on the safe side. And that will kind of work, won't it? I think for us. And uh, everything will be good and happy. Uh, in terms of what I want to do today. Now, what I would like to do is really push forward and um, try and get to iron. But of, of course... The, let me just pop a few torches down because the last thing we want is an unwelcome guest when I'm wearing leather armor. Did I say five? I think I said five, but I'll stick another torch down and we'll have another couple while we're down here uh, just to be on the safe side. And then we'll, uh, we'll grab those and we'll just backfill this just so we can work on the basis that we're not going to get caught out anytime soon by any unpleasantness from the pit of doom there we go lovely and we can go back to tower home and mm -hmm, head back up to the top grab our ill-gotten gains and technically they are ill-gotten i mean we, we did kind of borrow them a little bit didn't we so uh do i want to try and make that jump of course i don't <laughs> i know i could make that jump there's just no point in even trying to make that jump i mean i could put a little one of these here but i don't see the point i don't need to wander around from that angle i'm wondering whether this could do with a roof on it as well they're just a little wooden roof but that's for another Another worry. All right, 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 right. Nothing there that I need. Everything is in here is good. That's nearly almost leveled up as well, which is quite cool. Err, misc blocks. No, that's not a misc block, is it? That is actually a block block. Right, so what to play with today? Um. As I say, we could push iron. Now, of course, to make iron, we need to make some TFC stuff. 
Da, 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 da. No. There we go. Wrought iron and get on pig iron. So we need to make wrought iron and wrought iron we need to make like so. We're going to be blah blah blah. We can do that. That's not how we do wrought iron though, is it? How do we go with pig iron then that is? It's a while since so I've worked at this lower level. <laughs> this is a that was a joke. Wrought iron is made. No? Wrought iron is made on an anvil. Tier 2 anvil, which is obviously correct. And I think we have to use pig iron. Um, pig iron we make in a blast furnace with iron and flux. That doesn't sound right. There should be a bloomery. Yes, raw iron bloom. So that is made with charcoal and seriously, so surely some of this must just be some iron. Use of that bloomery, bloomery things make sure I'm yeah, okay. So we are in the right or park. So charcoal and thing, and of course, it's nether coal, but. I'm not going to worry about that. Makes a bloomery. We process a bloom on an anvil, and then the that is processed and again split, if I remember rightly. Um, and eventually we get. I think it's pig iron, and then we get iron. It's been a while, and it's a pain, <laughs> but we need a bloomery. And a bloomery. Yeah, give me a bloomery. Is made up of bismuth bronze or any bronze double things there's also aluminium brass double sheets i haven't seen any i don't think i can make aluminium brass somehow uh, copper and aluminium we could but we haven't got the actual stuff to make it so we're in terra firma craft territory and we are as i said making eight double sheets so four per so four eight sixteen thirty two thirty six forty ingots of bismuth bronze made into double sheets forty ingots of where did the day go i only just slept the night away that's bang out of order um, 40 bismuth bronze, 40 bismuth bronze. Now we've got plenty of copper. Well, 40 bronze actually, let's, let's, be, let's have a look at our options for bronze. Because of course you've got bismuth bronze, which we make. Blah, blah, blah. Zinc, copper, and bismuth. We've got bronze, which is made copper and tin. Casserite, yes, I believe. None of that is helping me. Casserite, yes. So, how are we for casserite? Have I got any casserite? I'm not seeing any casserite. Have I found any casserite? Hmm. Hmm. Day map, please, if you don't mind. Let's have a look at my uh, thing. Go like that. Start with. Definitely not labelled as casserite. So let us go to tin. Wow, I really haven't found any tin at all, have I? That is harsh. Okay. Maybe one for another episode then. <laughs> I have got other plans. Uh, I have many plans. 
my Mr. Mr. Plan. Um, so I have, I mean, I've even got a screenshot open on the screen next to me, and this was my thoughts. Um, I have got to hand a screenshot, and I would like to give these girls a proper home. Yeah. They need some, well, these girls and one boy. Um, and I think that arrow is going to kind of drop down eventually as well. So I am going to need some building materials. And the question is, what do I want to build out of? Which is a very good question. It's a question I do not have the answer to. Um, obviously, we could have got plenty of... I mean, we can make a hickory roof. That's That's kind of a... A given we could go there um so where do we go let's have a look at our building materials i think we go with chestnut to start off with it's a nice brown wood that should be enough and this is going to be a little bit of an odd ball build i think because of the shape of the land so i could landscape it down and drop it we've still got all of that to build as well so that's the thing but my thoughts were kind of along these lines i'm going to landscape this bit down to from about here we're going to come across like so um and then we're going to go back one two three one Two, three, and there's four. So about to there. Because what my thoughts are is, you certainly, growing up in the village I grew up, you often saw, it's actually quicker with a shovel in my fist, isn't it, when this hurt. You certainly saw a lot of this when I, where I was growing up. Um, you would have a milk shed or parlor attached to um, a cattle shed so you'd have your cattle shed like this and I might go uh, along like a sou oh hang on well that may certainly miss some stuff and you would then have the parlour off of that which is of course where you would keep all of your your dairy dairy products your products which with you with which you were going to uh, treat your cattle so that is my thoughts here we're going to have this and then we'll have another building up on this section which i'm going to take this tree down that arrow is going to drop i don't know why that arrow has been there it's been there for oops next tree it's been there for as long as I can remember. Well, actually, it's not been there for as long as I can remember. I do actually have a very good memory. Um, and that would imply that it's been there for not very long at all. Uh, okay. So from there, we could then come in. Let me come back here. And the parlour doesn't necessarily need to be very big. But it's got to be big enough to house our cheese making empire, which will be over there. So you'd have something. Oh no. Why would you do that? Autofill is great. But if you're going to for autofill, give me the same wood. So you'd have that kind of on there. You would have that kind of on here you probably have some stairs going down and that now cows on white horses can get through a one block gap so we we definitely need whatever we do down here to be a door at the bottom don't we and we need to think about our walls walls um what should we do for our walls Well, let me go and have a think. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I think for the walls, 
I'm going to try and keep this reasonably simple. And what we will do is they do need texture. This is this is a good old thing. And I've got my chisels and I can get more sticks and stones. So if I want to do this, I can. However, at this level, I'm not sure that I do. So what we'll do is we're going to pop in the odd brick. Now that we can get away with a few of these around the place. We can even throw the other one of those in and I've still got these smooth slate which will go neat and delete anyone like that and then similarly now what we can't do is obviously put these up at the top of the these here that will fall I actually could get away with that to be honest but it probably fall off if I swap out the floor so we'll not uh, we'll pop in a little bit of that there one of those there Drop you there, there, grab a little bit more of this, and, and my thoughts are to have the stairs come down and have a door here, that's why, that's kind of like it is, um, I can get away with a bit of that up here, can't I, and there, and uh, we can probably use a bit of that there. That kind of does the trick and then we'll... Let's have a look. So that will be there and there'll be that and then that will be a step and that will be a step and then we'll bring us up to here wherever this is and then we'll have our milk and stuff in there. Oh, hello. Did I miss a block? I did. It's not like me. Uh, let's pop one of those in. In fact, let's take you out and you out and pop you in there and I'll stick one of them in there. I might, might bury this up a little bit as well, like uh, so. Lovely. Right, reach, 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 reach. Now, I have brought some white cedar with me. And the plan is to white cedar it up for starters. I know where I got the white cedar from, so that's about always a bonus in my experience. And then the uses for white cedar, I don't think we've got much we can do with it because the chisel and chisel doesn't work with it. We see there's all of the usual bits and pieces, blocks, slabs fences things like that uh, I don't think we've got any fancy we can white stain them which seems a bit bizarre since they're already white but there you go what else can we do with white cedar if anything decoratively not a fat lot however we can chisel them and that would work if we set that to like oh wow we really don't have much inventory space do we okay that's fine knowing that is half the battle now I could Give it that kind of shape that might actually work reasonably well he still save some building materials um boop. Boop. so let's do that around all the way around this edge for starters and then i'll see about we'll kind of bring it up and we'll, we'll see about a roof let me get that done i'll be back in a second well i'm building chisels as i go <laughs> these things don't last any time at all the sooner i get to iron the better but um 
that's not happening anytime soon so yeah we're just getting the last few bits of this uh, white cedar bottom uh, we will extend and change the shape of this cattle um, this field as well and this goes on here this should be the last bit of this chiseling and then we need to go and get our I think it's hickory isn't it oh that's not right that's what I'm thinking yeah so very simple nothing overly ex extravagant there that is a maple fence so we do need to get more and we could mix in a little bit of other fence just to look, make it look like it was patched and the likes so that's always a possibility. Oh, that's not where I want to go. That's where I want to go. I also need to get a drink because I'm very thirsty. But not me personally. I mean, I've got a drink, you know. Um, I mean, the, the game. The game, me, is thirsty. Yay, right. So let us see. I have got... Hickory stairs, hickory stairs, we've got hickory planks, hickory planks, hickory, 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 dickory and dock, and all of the good things in between. That, I think that should work, I don't think we need to get much more complex. And, and obviously then we can kind of do this and bring up the path out. As if we're heading this way, continue straight out because we've got room over here to build some other bits and pieces. Um, but right now, let's see about a roof. And my plan to join up there, oh, well, you'll see my plan to join up there. Um, that needs changing out as well. Have I got anything I can do for those? Yeah, I can't. I can't be done with that. That is definitely not a keeper. Let me just get rid of those because that's going to be faster if I do it like this. Like a suit. That works. Right. Hmm. Let's get up the top. And see what we can do. with all of this good stuff here. So I'll bring you across there. I'm going to avoid oh man, doing my usual um, roof peak as well. So I kind of, I have a well, you you know what I mean. I've, I've done it more times than I care to think about. I have a, a standard design that I do. So I would, for example, bring this across here because that's fine. And then we kind of come along here. An overhang and overhang here. I would normally put one of these on that way, but I'm not going to. I'm going to be a rebel and do something different. Which is very brave. Not really. Um, but what we do want to do is a wee bit of that. And see what that looks like. Just going out like that. Let's just drop down. So my thoughts then are we're going to want to do certainly that. But these are chisels and bits. I probably will do that. That kind of works. So if we were to place one of those down. Well, more than one, but you know. Uh, you see, we haven't got enough storage space to do this. Um, I'm 
we can fill this in so it kind of goes back but I really do need to get myself a little bit of space I'm just going to go and get rid of this um, dirt over here and I'll be back in a sec all right we are getting there steadily um, I got this roof on it's on both sides it um, it is completely done here and it's completely done up here what we do need to do is just fill in those gaps which is a little bit awkward but yeah it's not the end of the world we'll, uh, we'll pop up here we should have uh yeah and then we need to do see i did wonder about leaving those open but i honestly think that would look weird so what we will do is we shall make ourselves i am running i run out of stick that's not good uh oops which where did i there we go uh So again, what we can do here is we can fill in this kind of the sensible way. Um, and then, so that's that one. And then we need to do this as well, don't we? Or uh, that needs to kind of, yeah. Okay. This is... <laughs> <laughs> this is weird because no one will ever as well. well most people will never see this I won't say no one because that's a very broad statement obviously you all know it's here and uh, I'll know it's here so yeah that is a, a consideration I suppose we have to take into account so we'll take that block you off there oops no and there uh repeat on that side i need to go and do some more of this cedar planks on both sides so i'll get that done be back in a sec all right structurally we are about there i also i do oh did i not have a door hang on let me just check if i've got a spare door kicking around <laughs> i do and it's hickory so that will do me fine I'll take you uh, i realize an axe would have been faster but you know sometimes Changing my hot bar slot from one to five to three is just way too much effort. However, we can come in here, and I don't know whether I want to change that out, so we'll leave that for a second. Uh, I have got this that's going to come. I am going to need a second door, actually, aren't I? And for that matter, I am going to need some something too. to this which probably I think let's go with we've got marble cobble this is the area we're in and I've I've expounded on my theory of the building with whatever materials are available theory of building um, that doesn't need to be there though uh, in the past you know the if you were a primitive culture building or for that matter even a modern culture building let's be honest is only only the only the very modern day where we've kind of moved from having yeah i'm going to definitely need another block of chess oh we can do it with this i'm just going to do that just to save material because i've got these and they are already and I might as well do that as well and then we will have a chestnut door I think on that side that probably wants to be something other than grass though I can't imagine that that would be be grass or that for that matter let me just pop those down for a second leave those those are my building materials over here the other thing i have brought is i brought a mixture of things so we can kind of come in here and then get a bit of that going get a little bit of that going in there just to throw in that kind of i'm a i'm a broken fence feel 
take a few of those out. We'll have a let me just pop a torch down temporarily. This is way too dark. Um, is that enough? I think that's probably enough. Let me <laughs> let's replace. Let me light that torch and that torch. There we go. Mm, I am very tempted. No. Nope to do that and chop it up chop out that one i'm actually very tempted to do that and chop out that as well just to oops hello just to give this a much more organic feel to it just a curve right so we need to do a little bit of landscaping in there uh, we need to get a door on move some barrels and stuff over here uh, and get a path in place and, and maybe some hidden lighting that's all doable let me um let me get on with that all right i'll just check where the camera oh so sorry just rolled over the cat's tail with the chair <laughs> well, you will sit there. Yeah, yeah, you. He hasn't quite decided where he wants to go yet. He's he's discovered the warmest place in the house for sleeping. Um, unfortunately, the warmest place in the house for sleeping is... I oh, know he thinks that he wants to go out. Okay, fine. Uh, the warmest place in the house for sleeping is right next to the base unit of my computer and it's in this little cubby next to the wall and it's... It's just wide enough for him to get a good, comfortable thing going on. You know, he can get really in there, really have a good old, get, you know, just get himself comfy, as only a cat can get. Anyway, what we need to do to finish off in here is take out most of this. Now, I'm hoping that I can scrape the top off of a lot of the blocks uh, and stop grass growth in the in the area. I also want to double check what happens if I... So right now, this is lit by torches. What? Oh, no, he's gone. He's gone for his warm spot. <laughs> he's, uh, he's obviously decided that's what he wants. So there we go. <sighs> cats they're strange little critters so if I put you there and then if I place a block of shale dirt on top then the block light of that is eight if I then come in here with a, a plane and take that off the block light of that is 14 much better Right, I've got a little bit of aggregate which I'm going to throw around. I can just get in here and I'll put another pumpkin over this side. Just to, you know, keep things even. And I'll probably even stick one out in the actual pasture. Um, but we'll do you with not gravel because that would be horrible like that perhaps and then what I need to do is start placing these out of the way it's because I don't really want that and then it makes it a lot easier to throw uh, right then we can we can chuck down a little bit of marble dirt here chuck in a couple of hay bales We'll give it that kind of look. Now there is this, because there is no wheat in this, or no wheat that you're going to do, want to waste doing that, there is also this level of things going on. So we can make a few of those, not too many because they're very bright, but I'll just throw the odd one in here and there, and maybe even throw that in like that I think that works and it breaks back down so that's not a problem and that will kind of do us for that we'll do a little bit of bit more landscaping in there but right now this is 
largely it. And I think I've just lost some bits already. I don't care about the bits, of course. Um, but I do care about leaving them lying around. And let's just take you back down. Lovely. Right. Um, we can well, we'll stick a stick a gravel block in there and leave it whole. Come in here. That has got a pumpkin under that block there. And then we've got our alcohol here. Or one pot of sorry, vinegar. And then we've got a barrel there. Probably want a chest actually. I want to leave a bucket or two. Now if I remember rightly, is it that? That's a barrel. That's a bucket. And then they can go in there. Like that, that's our milk making facilities. All we need to do now is throw down a little bit more um, texture and we will be done. Oh, and we are broke as well. Okay. That's not a problem. I have spare chisel making capability. And then we need to work on the path down as well, which I've started on, as you can see, but you know, that's uh, another job to do. Hey, right. Let me finish this off and I'll be back in a sec. All right. That appears as far as I can see, be done. It's also a night of falling stars, so I better go around and grab a few of these because there's plenty of them coming down. Now, um, that is all done. It's all lit. It's all fancy. And hopefully that will see us through for our cow needs for the foreseeable future. I have come up here um to this point now we do need to extend this road down that's something to do another day prefer preferably when we actually have a more significant number of um half decent tools um next episode however we are most definitely none of these already are they oh, have you despawned oh no you haven't there no. Um, yeah, these are probably never going to grow now. I think these have had it. Those are. Let me just. Yeah, those are definitely. I think they're probably never going to make it either. So we've got a cow shed. Um, we have actually not had an invasion night for a while. Oh, there's another one over there. I'm not going to grab that. It's too far to travel. Um, so I suspect that's coming any time. And in terms of development, that's... Oh, look at that. Just teasing me being on the roof of that thing. Um, in terms of that, that's all good. Now, the other thing I want to do is complete this. I want to get that ready for spring next year, for spring sowing, or for whatever sowing we end up having to do. But, um, where are all these? It's just, wow, it's like, it's like a smorgasbord. I've got a little bit of dirt. We'll head over there and do that, a little bit more of that while we're heading and grab some of those, all those fallen stars. But yeah, if, as soon as we've got this field, sorted out ready for us then uh, we'll be good to do our experiment next next growing season um, that experiment of course being the the experiment to see whether rustic things wow there's so many stars um, rustic apiaries have any effect on um, on TFC growth. Now, my gut feeling is no, they won't. That's just based on experience and understanding of the mechanics of, of 
our fellow craft. How too deep did you? There's nothing to explore. You get. Okay. Oh well. Can't have more, can we? Um, and the sooner we have that, obviously the rustic apiary is running an eight by uh, four by four around the apiary. So, you know, this is actually not ideal because I've I've kind of done this things it doesn't matter we'll we'll do them on either side of the water we'll kind of hover them over it and we'll have half of them like you know this side going with them this side without or whatever we'll work out exactly how going forward but um if i get the apiaries in place early then they can fill with bees so when we come to grow the crops we are as maximally effective haha <laughs> you thought you were getting away didn't you fishy All right this is this is technically known as fish tickling <laughs> uh, I, I suspect fish tickling is somewhat gentler than that but yeah so this will all quite happily you know become farmland and We'll have lots and lots of space for all of the, the good things. But we've got a cow shed. We're starting to expand outside of the castle now, which is um, kind of my intention. I want to, you know, come out around, maybe do, you know, we'll do some kind of walkways around here. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it. It's, a lot of this is by, um, it's, it's by the seat of my pants stuff. Um... But I mean, we could come, the path could come down there and then go around. So you just go, duh, 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 duh. you know, there's lots of ways, lots of things, lots of ideas. And on that basis, I think we will call this one an episode and, uh, and I will see you next time. But thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.